How the f <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Maxim is impressive. Cognito is impressive. What the f is this? <laughs> this is magic. Is that good? Is that cool? I actually love it. Is that cool? Yep. Oh god, she's going. <laughs> she's going. She's crying. Are you crying? A little bit. Why are you crying? It's really good and I don't know how it's done. <laughs> Before we dive into this episode, it's a slightly longer video than normal because this is a really special piece of magic. It's probably the most special thing I've ever created. And I think personally the best trick that I've ever made. And it's taken me years to get this effect, this trick, to this point. So this is the very first time you're seeing it in all its glory. Now, you are going to be aware of some of the things at play going on here. And that's kind of what I'm hoping that most of you that watch the channel will know what's happening right up until the end. But I know you guys know that. You're, you're smarter than me. You're smarter than the average bear. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit through the video with you. I'm going to be watching it in this little corner somewhere on screen. It's all about that final moment and wait till you see Kaylee's reaction to it. I'm excited to see how you guys react to it. I think you kind of might know what's going on, but it doesn't matter because at the end of the video, I'm going to explain to you how it works anyway. I'm just very, very proud of this. You can tell if you guys know me and you follow my work, you'll know that this is, this is a culmination of years, if not over a decade's worth of work and thinking to make this full piece of magic. So... Grab yourself a drink, sit down, relax, we're in for a little bit more of a longer episode than usual, but let's watch this trick. I don't even know what to call it. I don't even have a name for it. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> All right, Kaylee, this might feel familiar to you in certain parts, okay. right? but it's, there's a payoff. Okay. I won't say any more, but please, in case you, you say, ah, I know what that is, I'm, gonna, I'm, you, you, I'm, I'm not going to hide anything from you, okay. but let me, just, let me just show you, okay? because I think you're going to love it. All right. So... I could have you pick any card in the deck, but I could force you with that, right? I can literally manipulate it. I could have you make numbers together, then suits and have a card. Mm -hmm. I could have you look at photos on a phone and think of one of the cards. I'm not going to do any of that. I want you free will, think of any card in the deck. Don't tell me what it is at all. It's true, completely free choice. Yeah, mm -hmm. got it? Mm -hmm. Now, you heard me up in the lab earlier, uh, messing about. <laughs> I've changed the name of the studio to- That's not cool. <laughs> to the lab. It's not. Cool. I want to be a doctor. You want to be like Dr. Dre? All right. I was. No, you're more like Dexter's <laughs> no. laboratory. Right? Oh. Cartoon Network. Right. I was up in my lab earlier, and I, this isn't a full. Listen, shut up. This isn't a full deck. There's like 45 ish cards there. Okay. So um, you're thinking of a card. Yeah. You haven't taken it out of the deck. Um, because it's not a full deck, we just need to know that it's in there. If it's not in there, we'll just think, we'll just think of a different card, okay? So, mm -hmm. as I was picking them up earlier, I took some photos of my phone, of the card on the floor, and um, just. Don't tell me what it is, but just say if, at least if the card is in the deck. You guys know what's going on right in now. In there? No. Uh, no. Uh oh, okay, so we may have to think of a new card. Yeah. I really like this motivation of it's not a full deck, but just confirm it's in there. It's not on that one. Okay, but it was in one of the phones? Yeah, it's on that one too. Okay, cool. Uh, no, it's not on there. Oh, I was going to say, how is this going on? <laughs> how many did you take? Are you sure it's not full deck? Um, but, <laughs> You're confident with that. That's it, it was in one of the photos. Oh, yes, don't don't say any more about it. We don't need to know. We just know that it's somewhere in this deck. I'm not giving so, anything away. Why don't we just hold the cards in your hand? You can just open the open. Oh my god, that's the worst script I've ever seen. <laughs> put that there. Sorry. The way you put it in my hand. Um, that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help myself. So bad. You have All to right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Cut and complete the deck. Okay. Right, so it's being shuffled into a new order each time, trying yeah. to keep them like this. That's As you do that, though, I'm going to time you to look at my timer up real quick. Uh, mm -hmm. Hopefully, you realise what I'm doing. I'm not trying to fool you guys. Most of you should know what this is right now. But keep, but wait. Just chill. It doesn't matter. Just chill. Stop. Stop. Okay. <laughs> do you want to shuffle them up some more? No. Happy with that? Yep. Completely fair choice. Yep, I'm done. Yeah? Yeah. Um, do you want to do it one more time? Or are you good? No, nope, I'm good. Okay, so do you want top or bottom? Your choice, completely your choice. Top. Top? I'm going to have you count cards to the top of the deck. Okay. Okay, so 
Your name's Kaylee. It is. Yeah. <laughs> Look at me. Well done. I hope that wasn't Good the trick. <laughs> <laughs> well, if, if your name if, if your name was Jane, you'd be doing something different. different okay. So for every letter of your name, yeah. count from the bottom to the top like you wanted a card. So K. K. A. A. Y. Y. I don't know how to spell my name. L. <laughs> e. I. G. H. Perfect. So let's just reframe to remember where we are. Okay. Just, just, just to pause it for a second. I, I think reframes are always so important just because sometimes effects, uh, if you like, especially I like to have fun with my audience. I like to laugh and joke and I like to sort of let the effect play out over time. I don't try to rush them. And just to give a reframe before the big reveal sometimes uh, can be really helpful to just drive home how powerful the effect is. So I could have just had to go, K-A-Y, spell her name, boom, and have the card be there. But these reframes really let, the, let it sink into how impossible these effects are going to be. Just, this, this is just, that's just a general note, but keep watching. And this is not the end of the effect, all right? You're thinking of really any card in the deck. Yeah. 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 No forcing whatsoever. This is truly a free thought of card. Yeah. You then shuffle the deck mm -hmm. until you were happy. Yep. And you could have gone more or less if you wanted, right? Yeah. Then you chose whether you want to go top or bottom. Uh -huh. You said to the top. Yeah. yeah. And we used your name. Yeah. If you said bottom, we'd count cards to the bottom. If we, if, if we, if it wasn't you, it would if this, be if this was, if yeah. it'd be somebody else, it'd be a different amount of cards. Yeah. Everything about this has been completely free and fair. Yeah. Yeah. For the very first time. Yeah. What is the name? The card you were thinking of. The King of Club. The King of Club. Wouldn't this literally be crazy level? Any thought of card, any shuffle deck, a card, any card, any number, miracle if it was on the bottom right now. Hell yeah. Turn the cards over. On the ball set? Turn it over. <laughs> <laughs> but you kind of like. You, you I are, love that! Right. That's not the trick for you guys, right? Before you switch off, that's not the trick. Keep watching. I'm going to let Kaylee go on for a minute here. And this is just a general lesson again. I'm not rushing this reveal. So the trick isn't over. That's good. It's a good presentation for stuff that you're aware of. I right? know, yeah. I kind of know if you did, something. If I wasn't your husband, this no. would be even more of a miracle. That so, would be a miracle because I'm going to say something. I'm going to say now, I know there's an app involved. Yeah. 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 Because, yeah. But. I want to say, as a lay person like my dad or my sister or somebody who enjoys magic but doesn't understand some aspects of it, they would have no clue about apps. Yeah. Like, it is not a known thing. I didn't know until I met you. Yeah. And later no. on when I met you. Well, also, it's, it's the photos. I was showing you photos of the cards. Yeah. But also, by the way, I've had Cognito in the back pocket for like two years now. <laughs> the whole idea of that's not a full deck, so just confirm that it's in there, only occurred to me this morning. But it makes so much sense. Oh, by the way, it's not a full deck, so just tell me if I've got yeah. it at least in there, but I don't even want to touch the card. The only reason I knew that that was Cognita, though, is because I took those photos. <laughs> you did. I took those photos. But and then, and then, and then we combined it with Maxon to do the Any Card Remember. Oh, so, brilliant. So, Amazing. So that was all what fun and games, but it's not about that at all. This trick has nothing to do with Maxim and Cognito. This, this is Thursday. This is the episode of Fooler. Yeah. You know how all that works. Yeah. Right? In detail, you can actually perform Maximum Cognito. I've seen yeah. you do it. So I needed to up the ante this time around. Okay. That's your card, the King of Clubs. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Pretty impressive, but not if you know how it works. Okay. What would be impressive is if I did force you to think of that card. You didn't. That was a completely fair choice in thought, right? Yeah, there's no way you would know. And what would be impressive is if I did force the way you shuffled those cards. You can't force. Well, can you? I don't know. Because you couldn't have thought of any other card in the deck, and you could not have shuffled them in any other way than to bring the King of Clubs in. Because well, I could have. Every single card in this deck is completely one hundred percent blank. Off. Bloody <laughs> No gimmicks, 100%. You can keep that. That's complete. Show everyone that 
100% entirely blank. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Nothing, wait, wait. nothing. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I'm just going to pause it there real quick. So that's the full effect. Any thought of card in a deck shuffled by the audience and the deck is blank. So it's the only card they could have ever thought of. And it's revealed by spelling their name or anything you want. That's my dream effect that I've wanted to do probably my whole magic career. I thank you for watching it. I'm now going to just let you hear Kaylee's reaction to it and let her break it down for you on the rest of the episode. Uh, but I wanted to just sit in and make sure that you guys watched it all the way to the actual effect. All right, enjoy the rest of the video. So hang on, you used the but the. <laughs> <laughs> But to use Maxim, it needs to be an A stack, any stack. That you, how do you stack blank deck? How did it, how was this the only card in the blank deck that you thought of? How the f <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Maxim is impressive. Cognito is impressive. <laughs> what the f is this? <laughs> this is magic. Isn't that good? Isn't that cool? I actually love it. Isn't that cool? Yep. Oh god, she's going, she's going, she's crying. Are you crying? A little bit. Why are you crying? Because it's really good and I don't know how it's done. <laughs> you, I think you do, if, if you thought about I it. I don't, and I know it's yours now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Why do I cry over magic? This is ridiculous. I can't believe you're crying at this. That was amazing. So any card thought of, Never said out loud is you, under any card, any number in a shuffle deck, and the, at the very end, the deck is blank. And it's making you keep everything. The blank deck has thrown every single method that I had out of the window. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you do it. And I thought I was so confident at the beginning, and I was like, that's Cognito, that's Maxim. So I am. Um, do you want to know how it's done? Hell I, yes. I, I know there's tears involved, but you kind of know how it's done anyway. Um, so I'm I going to I'm going to pick up these cards. I clearly don't. This 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 is basically synergy. This is this is taking methods, methods, um, working them together. This is a lesson really in taking what you know and layering the methods and rewiring them in a way that cancels each other out. So you have this almost like. Uh, uh, what, what's that saying? A, a, a riddle wrapped in a in a puzzle inside an enigma, or you know what I mean, like that Winston Churchill. Well, that's what that that's what you do. Every, with the... Everything here. I mean, for for a complete layman, could you imagine uh, that being experienced by one? Them? They don't know apps exist. Two, they don't know stack exists. Three, I don't even know how the f is done. I know all that. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's it. If they if they're not going to work out, no one no one figured out cognito. Uh, no. Maxim doesn't is nothing like an app because you don't even need to use the time if you're wanting. No. So that those methods are out of the window for them. So they in their mind they, they think of a card they shuffle the deck and it's there that's amazing. I but then no the method of idea. the idea of the full that, back deck at the end. That is impressive in itself when you spread a deck and there's nothing on it except for your card. Yeah. And you've had that deck in your hand and shuffled them and yeah. Unless you swap the deck. No switching. No switching. So I'll tell you how it's done. I'm gonna tell all of you how it's done. Um, Come on then. <laughs> so if you don't know Cognito, uh, I think most of you know Cognito, but it's my app that's created to, um, somebody can think of anything, it doesn't have to be playing cards, it can be star signs, whatever, um, and they never, they like the performance I did there was a real quick, simple performance, but, um, but the ultimate goal with it is they can think of something, never look at it, never say it, never type it, never anything. Um, like for star signs, for example, they don't even look at their own star sign on the screen. It's just photos uh, and things, um, and and you know exactly what it is. And and because it uses this system, it means that you, they never see the single item on screen. There's loads, so it's like this. Just um, they can't work it out, especially when there's use like timer inputs and reverse timer inputs, which means they 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 never say or do anything. They never even look at it, and then you know it's, it's a miracle. Then we use the new app that I brought out called Maxim, which allows somebody to shuffle the deck. And I say shuffle loosely. I um, shuffle. Layman think this is a shuffle because they're, if, as long as you tell them I don't need to drop my cards, 
they do this. The deck is actually in a new order from when it began, so they're shuffled and there's other things. So uh, Maxim allows the spectator to shuffle the deck, right? And then and then it, it basically tells you the best way to reveal their card, like at any card at any number. So with the deck, if the card was this far down, Maxim would tell you. It first of all, it, it's, it works out where it is. So it works out that it's say however many cards that down is. That's twelve. It would say that's twelve cards down. Now you need to, depending on if you if the, if you put the person's name into the app or if it knows the card, it could just say like spell king of clubs, and then it will tell you U B S, and then it's is it there? Um, Maxim will tell you to spell king of clubs or whatever the out might be. It might be it might be uh, fifty. Well, not 53, but it might be like 24 minutes past the hour, the actual hour, and say spell 20, I count 24, the card will be there. So Maxim does that, right? So you've got Cognito, which tells you the card they're thinking of. Maxim, which then calculates and delivers to you the perfect out for where that card is in a, in a essentially shuffled deck from the spectator. The missing part is... The faces of the cards. <laughs> how the deck is blank. Um, so what we're using here is something which isn't out yet. It's a. Uh, we've done a video on this before. This is my decks. Me and Javier's no. pocket index. Yeah, I'm using decks here <laughs> to to get the thought of cards. So combine yeah. decks with Cognito and then Maxim with a blank deck. You can sort of oh, see how it all comes together to make this like crazy that ecosystem. That is insane. So whatever, if you were to think of a different, so think of a different card. Right. Um. I don't know what it is. Obviously, these are not in, in stack now. Seven diamonds. Do you change your mind at no. all or not? So, I would know that she's thinking of the seven of diamonds. Dex is a single pocket full deck index, and you'll notice why that's so important when using routines like this, or just generally being uh, a magician. Is that if I, I need this other pocket to use for like phones or other objects, wallets, and things. So it's really important that it's a single pocket deck index. You say seven of diamonds in the video. I have my hand in my pocket with my phone out. I think I, did, I put it like halfway through. Yeah. In reality, because it's so fast, you could just put your hand in and out and take it. I've realized though, Dex is so quick that you get it into 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 cop, and you have to wait to find the the perfect misdirection time in to take it out. If you're still watching, I'm just going to jump in for two seconds. I genuinely don't have a name for this trick, so what better way to name the trick than to make it into a contest? If you would like to win the blank mark deck from this video and a free copy of Cognito, then all you need to do is comment what you think a really awesome name for this trick would be down below and make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll pick a winner by next Thursday's video and I will send you the mark deck, blank deck, anywhere you are in the world and issue you with a free copy of Cognito that you can download immediately. So make sure you subscribe and then comment a name for the trick down below. All right, let's keep watching. Right. So in this example, the deck was here. Yeah. Uh, what I did is I, I I attained your card. So in this case, from using Cognito, I found out it was the King Clubs. In this example, we'll use the Seven of Diamonds. Mm -hmm. My hand was already in my pocket, just waiting for you to say whatever card. I already had the Seven of Diamonds in Cop there, or the King of Clubs in Cop. <laughs> I'm waiting then. I put the, I put the phone down, and I'm waiting for the perfect opportunity to just pick up the deck and load it onto the box. Right. Yeah. That's all I did. So whatever card you had thought of, I can I retrieve it. On average, three seconds, but I gotta find the right opportunity to bring it out. Because if I had just gone, it was obvious, right? So bring this out, uh, hand this to you. You then start cutting, complete in as I have Maxim in play. I then open up Maxim, press go. I put a profile in for Kaylee, which knows her star sign, her name, her surname, date of birth, and then it takes into consideration the time of day, what's the date, and things. So I was always gonna pretty much nine times out of ten land on an out, which was very personal to Kaylee. In this case, it was her name, which is perfect. Um, so then Kaylee mixes in everything. The only other thing is that I've marked this blank deck. So on the back of these cards, just the classic bicycle marking. I did it with a with a, I did it with a blue friction pen. So if I made a mistake, I can wipe it out. Um, but the markings, you little snake, are on the back. Uh, there's a vi this video is on YouTube. You can go and learn to mark. Everyone knows how to mark a deck of cards. Blue uh, ballpoint pen. And just simple marking. So essentially, these, these were they were in stack. In stack, these, this blank deck was stacked in mnemonica minus <coughs> one card. So in this case, I, uh, I so there was fifty one cards. So it was true there wasn't a real full deck there. Okay. In every sense of the word. Yeah. Um, so there's fifty one blank cards. I cop in whatever card Kaylee thinks of. Yeah. Then I load that. So now there's fifty two cards in this deck. Oh, right. 
I yeah. input that card, doesn't matter what this card is, whether it's the seven or the king, yeah. in Maxim I input that card as the nine of diamonds. So, uh, because it's the bottom card of the deck. So then when she mixes the deck up, whatever card I see on top in the markings, I input that as the top card input, like a, like a Maxim input. So top card input, obviously these have been mixed up now, yeah. like, so I've shuffled them around. But whatever card was on top in the stack order, I input that as the timer stops, Kaylee stops there, Maxim works as normal. I just make sure that she deals face down until a card, or in this case it was spell from the top to the bottom. I love that presentation of doing this. I don't know why. Yeah. But I like to do it behind the back, but I wanted everything to be on screen today. And also but I think drop them. I think that, by the way, because I didn't explain this in the Maxim video, but doing thing, if, if you get that reveal where they can count from the top to the bottom, bottom to the top, have them do it behind their back blind, because there's a beautiful moment where they do all this stuff, they've been shuffling behind their back, they're counting behind their back, they're thinking of any card, they haven't said anything, they bring it out, and they just look at it. Re Presentational-wise, like it's a killer moment. But that's it. So I input the card, whatever it's going to be, in Maxim, they deal down to that, to that card, and, and their card's there. I let that sit. You'll notice in the video, I let that sit with Kaylee for two or three minutes, maybe. Oh, maybe I made it quicker, but it felt like a minute or two. And then... And then that kicker. And if you think about that from a layman's point of view, how do they figure that out? Because... They can't. I couldn't. And I knew two of the three things, of the four things that I needed to know to be able to work that out. Well, if they if they figured out how you knew what card they were thinking of, which they with Cognito they won't. You can't, right? no. Um, if, but if, say they did. Right? Yeah. Okay, great. Well, maybe he made me control my card to a certain position. Oh, no, oh, I, I shuffled the deck. Ah. Uh, Right, like if, it, if it wasn't my name, because don't forget, it's like the trick that can't be explained, Maxim. They don't know that you that that you you could have spelt their name, no. you could have said, uh, spell the name of the card, anything. Yeah. To them, that was always what you were going to do. Yeah. So th for, that that's that gone, right? Yeah. So they think, well, if you did know my card, what if it wasn't my name? What if my name was something different? With Maxim, that cancel each other out, right? So if they yeah. that's only if they clock how you, how Cognito worked, right? Yeah. But that's they're not going to. But then the blank deck means, well, it doesn't matter. It does not matter because it was the only card in the deck. Yeah. If they thought they knew, if somebody seen you load a card in from the deck, it doesn't matter because they still shuffled the deck into any order. They still spelt their name and they were thinking of the card. They never said it no out one, loud. Yeah, no one knew my card. Every method there has, can be cancelled out by the other method. Thing. So if they say, yeah. well, I'm sure I've seen you take a card out of your pocket. Say, how do I know what card you're thinking of? How did I make you shuffle it there? Like, it just wouldn't make sense. Yeah. But they're not going to see you do that because you, you're going to practice these things. But they don't know how, they, how you know the card. They don't know how they shuffled it into the order to spell their own name, where it would be. They don't know how that card is there. And, and then the kicker of making it the only card in the deck is... That's insane. Absolutely that, brutal. That final thing, when I thought the trick was over, I love layered tricks. <laughs> And I knew it was layered when you got Cognito and Maxim involved. But when you turned that deck over and I knew that none of it was in stack, that got me. Yeah, yeah, because, yes, yeah, not... It it's, has to be in stack. I mean, not how in do stack. you stack a blank deck? I would never have thought that you would use marked cards. So, yeah, so that's basically... Uh, deck. Dex is coming out um, hopefully around September time <laughs> uh, with me and Javier. Probably a little bit later than September now. Just looking, I didn't realise we're already in August. Um, Maxim and Cognito, you can both get in the links down below. Uh, most of you probably already had it. If you have them if you watch my channel. Wait, we haven't done the most important bit of this. Oh, the ratings. Excuse me. We need to rate this trick. Go on then. So, while you've been explaining it and showing me the methods and the layering of this trick and the thought behind it and the thought process that has gone into this, I think everyone should agree if they don't i'll i'll say something i think everyone will agree with Sister me when i say Breach. that just the thought behind that trick to put it together using all of those methods combined to cancel each other out is insane thank you <laughs> it is insane you thought of cognito you you thought to use it then you thought to use maxim on top of that then you thought to use decks. Then you thought, oh, I know, I'll just make it blank. And then it'll throw her completely off. So I think, when I when you showed me Cognito, I gave it a five. For everything. Right. When you showed me Maxim, I, you gave it 
I gave it a five for everything. When you've shown me Dex, I gave it a five for everything, and I think I gave Dex a bonus point. Right. So I think this one is going to be 15 for entertainment, 15 for okay. creativity, and 15 for... What's the other one? Fooler. Fooler. Because no, Fooler, entertainment, creativity, yeah. and then bonus points. Well, three bonus points, because you use three of your things, and I love that. And I cried. You got me to cry, mate, so... What <laughs> I oh. think that was the best trick you've shown me, by far. Is that the best, the trick, of all, the the best trick of all time? It, the best trick of all time. Genuine? You just wanted me to say that. <laughs> I'll use that sound bite at the beginning. <laughs> I will. You totally will. But it's totally deserved, because all of those tricks individually are incredible. That Thank reveal you. individually would be incredible if it was a blank deck and you just put it in stack and you just had a card and forced, popped it, yeah. forced. It would still be impressive, but having all three layers cancel each other out and you'd be able to go, no, I have no f idea how that does, how that works. That is incredible. Thank you. That's magic. Well, I can't take all the credit. Like, I worked on Cognito with my friend Owen. Yes, and um, Dex. He helped me make the first prototypes, put everything together. Uh, Josh built the apps. Yeah. Javier, the, the Dex, although it was initially my concept, Javier is the one that's made it so good. Um, you know, Still, the combination everything of here, all like of this that. is like, you know that that story, the twenty year overnight success about the guy who started Pokemon Go. Yeah, everyone said it was like an overnight success, but he worked for twenty years putting all the pieces of the puzzle together to make that. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like this, like this is, like, you know, a lifetime of work and thinking and creativity, and it ends up with an A can. <laughs> <laughs> Impressing me and making me cry. Thank you so that's, much. That's that's what the kicker is. It's the fact that you got me to cry over an A can. Thank you so much. Thank all right. You. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wasn't expecting I wasn't expecting this reaction at all. Um, Amazing. If you can all learn that and perform that, you'll win every single time. Yeah. Whatever it is you <laughs> enter, you win it. Yeah, you win. You win it. You win it. <laughs> I wish I'd done a better performance of Cognito now, so it wasn't the, the yes no performance. Amazing. It was the don't look at it, don't think of it, don't say anything. But amazing. then again, you still know it. So if you are going to do this, guys, I do suggest making this a bigger piece. Um, and when you do Cognito, you can do the high-low input, which are, which we use there just for speed. But don't forget, Cognito's real power is that they, they never even have to look at their card. They never say anything. They never do anything. They don't give anything away. That's, that's the power of Cognito. So use that. When it comes to Maxim, you can make that a bigger performance. You don't have to use the timer. You can do uh, you can do um, the text message input. You can make this as like you can make this as ultra clean and fair as you want to really blow it up. Um, but you guys all know what these apps are. You're all magicians watching this channel, so I thought I would just give you the basic run through. But thank you all so much for watching. It's getting on to like a 25 minute episode. That's fine. Um, it's worth it. There's three massive things in here that everyone needs to go and learn and do this trick <laughs> because I I cried. So, <laughs> and it was an ACAP, and I cried. But you need to. Alright, guys, I'll see you on Sunday for the Sunday service live.